In this collapsed outline, I have about a dozen different tag types. What the tag index script does is create a tag index with each tag present in your outline. Let me show you. This script works instantaneously. Are you ready? And go. Just amazing. There are a couple of things to notice here. The tag index is sorted alphabetically and there are a pair of colons separating each tag. When you set up your script, you decide what separator to use. Let me undo this tag index just created, and I'm gonna show you a different separator. And now you see I have a vertical bar separating my tags. And what is the purpose of a tag index, you may ask? Well, this is a list from about five years ago when I moved from one apartment to another. I went through each room of my apartment and created an inventory of everything. And I tagged every item with some sort of action. Now with this tag index, I was able to filter for everything I needed to disassemble. And since I was downsizing, I could filter for things I was going to donate. And then there were things I had to measure to make sure they would fit into the new apartment, etc. Quite handy, wouldn't you say? Let's jump to another real life outline of mine, my daughter's homeschooling log. In this outline, I'm gonna activate a slightly different tag index script. There are two differences when using this tag index script. First, the index has been created in a note at the top of the outline, not in a bullet. I prefer this. The second difference is that whenever you run this script, it will overwrite the existing note content with an updated tag index. To illustrate, I have an exercise tag here, and I've decided to eliminate this tag category and replace any of those with this tag here. Fitness, it's one in the same category. So I'm gonna filter for exercise, I'm going to explode this tag right here and replace it with fitness. And now I'm going to run my tag index script again. Notice how the tag index has been updated. There is no exercise tag. And the usefulness of this outline? Let me go ahead and click on a couple of tag categories. You'll see just the tip of the iceberg. The first few entries I logged in different areas of my daughter's homeschooling when we started back in late 2017. Dogs. We have a couple of dog-related activities going. Here's geography. Another random one. Korean. Origami. science projects, volleyball, etc. So now we're going to jump to the WFX power pack list for a quick install. Here in the utilities section of the power pack, you'll see two different tag index scripts side by side. I'm going to zoom into tag index note and then the script itself. And to initiate an install of any script, we're going to activate the WFX prompt and use the built-in shortcut WFS. Here in this first step, I get to decide what my separator will be. I'm going to replace this set of colons with a vertical bar. OK. And now to choose my shortcut, I'll go for TIN to tag index note two. And that's how it's done. Now on the next screencast up, we'll be taking a look at how to automate numbering your workflowy bullets with the number bullets script. Just follow the link in the description box.